Hello everyone, welcome to Ton Time. Today we will be unboxing the Yano P9 iPad Magnetic Tablet Stand. If you watch my channel, I've reviewed quite a few Yano products and each product does not disappoint. They are high quality, great products. I have a few here. Um, I have this stand here, which is a universal stand, has these little hooks down here and whatever type of tablets you have if it's an android or an apple you could pretty much just use it here and you could rotate it however you want because it has these hooks here now if you want something more elegant um, i also have this uh, stand here which use magnets in the back as you can see here there's no hooks all it is is just a magnet in the back and your ipad pretty much sticks on it just like that and it's very elegant design and it's great um, i use my apple pencil to do take notes and do some drawings on there and it works well and it's fully rotatable and this this particular stand um, works for apple only um, very sturdy construction and i've loved it so Yano sent me this one. This is their new P9 um, iPad magnetic tablet stand. And this actually works for um, iPads 10.9 inch, 11, point, uh, 11 inch, and 12.9 inch. This one that I got was a 12.9 inch. I don't have a 12.9 inch iPad yet. I will get one later this year. But Yano sent me one to just unbox and review. So... Um, I just want to do a quick review here to show you guys. So the only difference between the one that I just showed you here um, and this one here is um, it's got a bigger backing. And if you notice here, there's a camera hole right here um, to fit the camera for the newer iPad Pros. So that's pretty much the only difference. But um, aside from that, everything is pretty much the same. Uh, you got your cable management hole here. Um, sturdy construction with uh, uh, enhanced heat dissipation uh, grooves here. Um, it's got the multi-angle and height adjustability for comfort viewing and gaming. And um, yeah, so it's anti-scratch, non-slip as well. So let's go ahead and unbox this and see what you get inside of here. And I apologize that I don't have my iPad yet, but since they sent this to me, this is a sponsored video. They gave this for me to try out. And to unbox and to show you guys uh, once i get my uh, ipad i'll probably do another video just to show you guys how it will fit on here but this one here we'll just do a simple unboxing video and show you what you get inside so so just here this is the retail packaging that kind of shows you how you could um break it down to make it compact and how you should lift it up here and um this is show you how to adjust the angle with the two hands and how you adjust um, the product so yeah so let's go ahead open it up see what's inside and like i said um these these um devices they're really elegant looking they make it high quality durable materials it just looks like something that apple would design so you got your instructions here looks like um one side is in Japanese and the other side is in English here. So you got your product parameters there and the instructions on how you would use the product, but pretty much easy to use. You probably don't need to look at the instructions. So I'm going to take this box, put it away. And as you open it up, this is the device. So, um, yeah, it looks just like the ones that, um, the one I got earlier, um, that I got last year that I'm using. So this is how it's broken down as you can see. So you could pretty much put it in a briefcase or a laptop bag and take it with you, which is pretty cool. The backing plate is a lot bigger because it's for a bigger iPad, obviously. And this is how it stands. So you got definitely a bigger base here. And since this, um, since this iPad is for, um, it's definitely for, um, you know, bigger for the 12.9 inch, it's definitely got a bigger surface here. So this is how it would stand here. And looking at my current one here, 
this is for my um, iPad Air. It's 10 inch, and if you look at the size here, it's a big difference. So, <laughs> so 12.9 inch to my iPad Air. Look at that. So it's definitely a lot bigger because the iPad's bigger and heavier. So you got a very wide surface area here. So it will hold the iPad nice and secure. And obviously you got a bigger base than the one that I got from my iPad Air here too. So that's the difference here. But yeah, the design is awesome. Um, I love how, um, you know, it's very, you just pop it on like that and it's very easy to use and i know a lot of people don't like to use cases and they like to just use the ipad like me naked like this and it works really well if you do have a case just make sure your case is thin so it will stick on easy because if you get a really, really thick case it might not stick on the best but for me i don't like using the case i like to have my ipad just kind of open like that so yeah so that's the unboxing part of it and this is adjustable here and it's adjustable here as well. You could rotate it this way as well. And this is for the camera hole, obviously. And this shaft here, the two shafts that you see here and here, I believe it's a new design shaft as well. Um, they say it's a service life is up to 20,000 times of just you know bending it back and forth forth and the bearing weight is about 10 pounds so definitely updated the shaft here here from the older model which is um good but for the most part i mean i guess if you travel with it a lot you'll break it down but when you have it on your desk you just have it kind of in one position but you don't have to worry about it you could adjust it back and forth as much as you want and it should be fine and this part here i believe rotates 360 degrees as you can see here 360 degrees and this bottom part here it rotates about 180 uh, degrees and the material here you get ultra thin acrylic uh, material silicone here to protect your iPad from any scratches um, it's anti-slip anti-scratch uh, material here really soft and it doesn't block any of the magnetism at all so yeah so that's pretty much um it for the unboxing here so there's three models um i'm gonna show you here uh let me um let me let me move you to the website i'll put the link to the amazon listing below but i'll show you that there are three sizes that you can get here's a compatibility list that i want to show you guys before i show you the three options just be sure that you choose the one that corresponds to your ipad you can check the zero number in the back as you can see from this image and then as you can see there's the 10.9 11 12.9 inch that you can choose from so be sure to make sure you check this list and get the right size for your ipad because there are three options for them here are the three sizes that you can get so there's the time there's a 10.9 inch for ipad air fourth and fifth generation and there's the 11 inch uh, ipad and there's a 12.9 inch ipad version as well so you want to make sure that you order the right size because based off the type of ipad that you have the uh, size of the actual product will be different and mine is an older model so don't go by what i have um, i have an older model uh, ipad um as you can see here it doesn't have the square in the back um, I just got the circle one, but all the newer iPads, um, have the square camera in the back. So yeah, so you want to make sure that you get the right model. So there's three models there to choose from. So be sure to choose the one that fits your iPad and they currently have a sale right now, but it looks like it's going to end in 45 minutes because I believe it's for Memorial day, but it's a great product to have definitely compliments. Well, if you are looking for the minimalist type of iPad stand, and yeah that's um that's pretty much it guys so i just want to do a quick unboxing here once i get my 12.9 inch ipad i'll do another video show you how it pops on there it looks like but it pretty much would look like what you see here for my older uh, generation ipad air
so yeah that's pretty much it guys um um that that's pretty much it for the video and for the unboxing so if you like the video you know what to do and like always thank you for watching and i will see you guys in the next video peace out till next time and if you have any comments or questions regarding the product just um, let me know and i'll try to answer it as best as i can and yeah thanks for watching